Hey, our online Excel teammate Andreas is about to make his 1,000th Excel video. And he asked me to make a short video to help celebrate. Wow, 1,000 Excel videos, Andreas. Congratulations for Excel 1,000. Here's a little trick for your 1,000 party, Andreas. Team 1, Team 2 of sales rep. How do we add to get the total from the sales column for each team? Well, it depends on whether or not we have the field name from this column listed at the top of each one of the sales rep teams. If we have the field name listed here and it's the same as that field name, we can simply use DSUM. The D is for database. The SUM is for adding. These database functions have been around for decades. Database means that we have a proper data set with field names and records in row. I'm going to highlight the field names. We'll use Control Shift down arrow to highlight to the bottom of the data set. Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. That's table formula nomenclature, the table name, and give me everything including the field names. Comma. That's DSUM asking which column do you want to make the calculation on. We want to calculate on the fourth column. So for field, I could put a 4. I could also put the name of that field, comma. Now for all of the D functions, criteria requires a field name, and then the conditions are criteria below. If we were doing an AND logical test, we'd have to book conditions or criteria on the same row. But we're doing an OR logical test, so we put the sales rep names on different rows below the field name. And then DSUM will go through and ask for any record, are you Sue or Chantel or Abdi or Kiki. So for criteria, field name, conditions or criteria below. That's as a relative cell reference, so close parentheses, Control Enter, click and drag and copy to the side. F2, I'm verifying that the cell references are working. And there you go. The DSUM function has added for each one of our sales teams. If we don't have our field names at the top, we can use an alternative formula. We'll start with SUM ifs, SUM range, sales column, comma, criteria range, sales rep column, comma. And for criteria, if we put four different sales rep names into criteria one, that instructs SUM ifs to deliver four answers, a total sales for each one of the sales rep. Close parentheses. Now we want to prove that to ourselves, so we hit the F9 key. We see that it delivers a resultant array, four sums, one for each sales rep. Control Z. Now to add that resultant array, we're going to use the sum product function. This function will work in any version of Excel. Come to the end, close parentheses, and there you go. Control Enter, copy it to the side. If I hit the F2 key, the ranges are looking good. So we can use sum product and sum ifs, or the much easier DSUM function. All right, Andreas, happy 1,000.